guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Definitely make sure to do that because I'm posting a lot more videos. And in today's video, as you can tell by the background, I'm in my car. So I just got my car cleaned inside and out. So I thought in honor of it being really clean, which does not happen a lot, I would do an updated car tour. If you saw my last car tour, I think it was like two years ago. And in that video, I didn't really like say a lot of things in that video, like how many miles per gallon, and I just like didn't really explain a lot in that video. So I thought I would do another one, like an updated one. And in that video, my voice was super annoying. I don't know, I was like younger back then, or like I was sick, I don't know. But my voice was so annoying. So I eventually want to delete that video. So yeah, now I'm doing an updated car tour so you guys can see my car. I thought this would just be helpful for people that are looking to get a Jeep or you just want to see the inside of a Jeep. So yeah, I just thought I would film this video. And if you want to see that, just keep watching. Also, just wanted to pop in here to make a little disclaimer. I'm not bragging about my car. I'm not trying to like flex on you guys or anything like that. I just thought this would be super helpful for people that want to know what the inside of a Jeep looks like. Honestly, I really like seeing car tours. I think they're interesting because there's so many different cars out there. I just think it's like fun to watch them and like see how cars are different. So I wanted to make another car tour. This is like an updated, I got it cleaned, I'm less annoying now, I'm going to give you more information. So yeah, I'm not trying to like brag or anything about my car, I just wanted to like put this video out there for people that genuinely want to see what the inside of a Jeep looks like, the outside, some information on it. So yeah, if you don't really care and you don't really want to see that, you don't have to watch this video. But if you want to see, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to go into more detail this time. And I'm gonna actually explain a lot of the stuff in my car because in the other video I think I just like went over it, put some music over it or something like that. I didn't really explain any of the stuff. So yeah, this is gonna be like an updated, better version of that car tour. And it's a lot cleaner right now, so I thought this would be like the perfect time to do it before it gets messy again. So yeah. So starting off with the driver's side, this is the door. This is how you unlock and lock it like that. Over here, I have these little vent things that smell like vanilla. You just put it right here. I have them on all of them. And then once I turn my car on, I'm gonna turn on the battery mode. This car gets 16.4 miles per gallon. So I would just say 16 miles to the gallon. That's what I would say. This is the steering wheel. This car came with this little navigation system. You can like see the map. You can go places. This is the map. Really cool. You have your radio. Well, it's on aux right now, but if you click, you have your radio, all of them on there. You hit media and then you have your aux. And that is this right here. Plug that in. Control the windows right here. So yeah, that's that. This is how you lock the windows. Okay, so down here is this little hole. Most cars have that. It's just for like a charger, so I had to put my charger in there. But I take it out when I'm not using it because that just drains the battery. And then right here are some buttons. This one is for the outlet that's right back here. There's like an outlet right here, but you have to click this button to make sure it actually charges, so that's that. This is obviously the emergency lights, and these aren't buttons right here. I guess it's just like meant to look nice. These are the only buttons, there's only four, but these are just like decoration, I guess. Okay, so I don't know everything in this car, but I know this is four wheel drive right here. And this is your emergency brake, that's right here. You have the two cup holders. I also have two more cup holders in the back, so that's nice that I have four cup holders. I really like that, especially since I'm always like getting food and I always have drinks from like the day before. So yeah, I have four spots for that. I also really like the seats of this car. It's not like leather, so it like doesn't get cracked. It doesn't show age as much, so that's really nice. They're just like cloth. 
Haven't gotten them stained yet, so that's really good. I like how they're black, so it's not that obvious when it's dirty. So yeah, I like how the seats are black and they're like this cloth material, not leather, it's not heated, but it also doesn't get cracked, so I'd rather have this over leather seats. Also, around this car, there's a lot of these little pockets. There's one on this side right here, driver's side. And there's one on the passenger side. I just put napkins in there. These are just like some little pouches because it doesn't have like, you can't put anything right here. So it has these little pockets right here. I like them. Keeps everything together. So that's nice. Okay, so this is my center console. That's what it's called. This first clip right here opens the first part of it, which is just a little tray, and there's my receipt for gas. So just the top tray, and then if you press the second button, which is right here, it's the whole thing. It's pretty big. I can stick my whole hand in there. Okay, so I also want to mention this car has these cute little handles on it. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of dark. But it says Jeep on it right here. They're really cool. This whole thing has like some protective thing around it. I think most Jeeps have that. So yeah, this is really cute. I like that. It has it right here too. And it also says Jeep on it. So yeah, I guess you can just hold it when you're off-roading or something. Like here's the mirror. And I actually just now realized that this top thing had like a little Jeep thing on it. Like I literally did not know until like a couple days ago. And I think that's super cute. I like the little details that are in here. I don't know if like the previous owner put that in there or if it came with it. But yeah, I think it's really cute. But these are the lights right here. These are the speakers. They're really nice, really good sound quality. I really like that. So yeah, this would just be the top if I took off the hard top. This is the hard top, it's white and it's pretty hard to take off okay so this whole thing is the hard top you can take off like the white part of it you just like so now let's go to the back oh yeah also you can move the seatbelt up or down by like pressing on this and like moving it up i don't know if you can tell but yeah they have a lot of cool features in this car i'm in the back of the car and this isn't as spacious as like a regular car i wouldn't say it's squished i would just say it's pretty tight oh yeah if you want to control the windows from the back you would do it right here this is where you would do it there's cup holders seat pockets all of that this car fits five people so this is a seat this also has a seat belt so this is a seat and then this is the third seat so yeah, this is a five seat car. So that's really nice. I feel like maybe three back here might be a little squished, but that's up to you. I'm in the middle right now. So yeah, and this is my view. I have like some leg room, but like if you're really tall, I feel like maybe it wouldn't be enough because my knees are like just touching the seat. So yeah, there's that. But if there were some kids back here, I feel like it really wouldn't be like that squished. So yeah, this is the back of my car. I really like it, obviously. In the back, this is also where you would like put stuff. You could put extra cups there if you want to or anything like that. On both sides, there's like this netting type thing that acts as like a cup holder, I guess, or whatever you want to put in it. Then you have the space. And if you wanted to move the seats back, you would just pull on this right here. This like makes it go back. And I'm pretty sure this controls both of these two seats right here. You just make that go down. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this seat down. All of this stuff is pretty easy and user-friendly. You just go like this, pull the seat down, and then when you wanna put it down, this goes up, really nice. So yeah, that's how you fold the seats down. I'm just gonna fold this one down because I'm sitting right here. So now you guys can see the trunk. All right, so the trunk is pretty big. I feel like you could fit a couple people in here, honestly. But I really like how there's like carpeting in here and it says Jeep on it. That's really cute. And you can lift this up, which I will do in a second. This is pretty big. There's also a speaker right there. Here I am sitting in the back of the trunk. I just want to show you guys like this, honestly, fits someone back here. This is a pretty big trunk compared to the two-door Jeep. Like, you can fit a lot more in this trunk. I'm pretty sure the two-door Jeep, you really can't fit that much stuff. Like, it's half the size of this. So, I really like this. Pretty big. Pretty wide. All right. So, this is the trunk. You first have to open this part. This has the tire on it. And then you lift up this part. And then, yeah, this is the whole trunk. 
So yeah, also you can lift this up and there's parts that I need. That's a power cable. There's also a lot of other Jeep stuff that I need in a little bag, which is really cute. Then you just lock it like that. Put this mat over top of it. Really nice. All right. So these weren't the tires that they came with. It came with like the wheel is different. I added that and this too. These are all different. It didn't come with this. It came with like the basic. I'll insert a picture of like the basic ones that already came with. But yeah, these are the ones that I have now. I'm pretty sure we ordered it off of a website. And these are the little bird's eye thing. I think they're super cute. So yeah. Okay, so I know a common question on this video is going to be how much is it? How much is a Jeep? How much can you get them for? That question, I can't tell you exactly how much a Jeep is going to be. It all depends on like miles, year, if it was used. So yeah, let me just quick look it up for you guys because I know I'm going to get so many questions. How much is it? How much can you get one for? Okay, so my car was not brand new. It has a lot of miles on it, over 100,000. So we got a really good deal on it. And the person that had it before me, they took really good care of it. It looks really nice inside. Like you wouldn't even think they had it for that long. And I got the 2012 one, so we'll see. I think I have the sport one. That's definitely the one I have. That literally looks like my car. So we're going on to Carfax. This is a two door, but you can get a Jeep for $17,000, which is actually a lot. But I'm just telling you that like multiple places will have it for multiple prices. So I can't tell you exactly how much it's going to be. Stuff like that. You have to do your own research and look around. But yeah, that's basically the car that I have. These are the wheels that they came with. So yeah, this is the price of my car. So yeah. Just in case you guys are wondering, I'm pretty sure the newer ones are super expensive. All right, so these are the new ones they have. The 2020 Jeep Gladiators. It basically has like a trunk in the back. If you can see that right there. They go for as high as like almost 50,000. With taxes, it's probably 50,000. So yeah, they pretty much range from... Okay, so that was my updated car tour hopefully you guys like this video and if you did make sure you give me a huge thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications if you want to be notified every time i post a new video i was thinking about doing a car tour on my sisters she has a jeep but it's a two-door so i thought it'd be interesting to like compare them like how much smaller is it really i don't know if she's gonna let me but if you guys want to see that video leave me a comment down below and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video